Hello YouTube. We've been taking uh, these off with my hatchet and I'll have a clip. I have a clip that I did yesterday. So I kind of messed up the video, but you'll see the clip. Uh, the video won't be over. I said thanks for watching. But, uh, it's just almost impossible to do. I can't even do it today. So I don't know how I held the camera, but I think you get the idea. You go that way. Don't come down this way. That's the way the tree grows. We'll take you inside and I'll show you what I got up in the rafters of mulberry pieces. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to take out and show you the tree uh, so you know where I harvest them from. Okay, for years I've been chopping on this thing. I mean, you could, I can get up close so your brain's at the brain. They're probably going to take it all out uh, because it's getting up there, it's getting bigger. Uh, I took out what I could get to with my saw without getting on a ladder or anything and took probably the best straightest ones. Uh, when you chop this thing back, I might get in here and show you one. See the one that goes up? Uh, let's see. Kind of hard to get on camera. You can kind of see the ones that how they kind of go up and curve. Some of them go up almost straight, which I'll show you. Because when you chop this off, you can see how many times it's been chopped off over and over. It just keeps growing multiple branches. It's, it's just a bush. It's just out of control. Uh, even up here up close. So over the years I've harvested many sticks off it. So for that we'll take a picture of that so you can see the whole thing. Then we'll go inside and show you what we took off it yesterday. Here's a quick clip of the maple. Same thing, right? Chop the top of that tree and I'll go out and I'll give you a picture of it, what it looks like now if I delimbed it. Uh, they grow almost straight up on the maple. Really straight. You can make some little bitty fishing poles out of this. You can tell, I mean, I've got some that's over six foot long. So we'll take you out front and we'll show you the tree that I chopped up there to get it all chopped down. Okay, here's the maple tree. So that was topping off. See where it's been cut off over and over? I've been topping off every year, so it kind of grows like a little bonsai looking maple tree but it got out of control I mean they was up there I mean I have one that's over eight foot long that shot straight up in the air off of there uh, that's where those came from where I showed you back there by the shed the long ones I and mean, they just shoot straight up so uh, good way to harvest I see these sprouts at the bottom get up here you can make stuff out of these little twigs you, know, you can make stuff out of all them little twigs. That's why I just let them go and I harvest them every year. So stay tuned, we'll get inside. It's nice out, it's about 40 degrees. Okay, there's the mulberry I harvested. That's almost two inches around, that branch. These are two foot on center rafters, so there's one that's over eight foot long. I don't know if I can zoom in a little bit. Might be a little grainy, but Give you an idea, they're really gonna lay up there all winter long. Some are gonna bend and twist. I had one mulberry, I was gonna make a fishing pole and it has got a super big curb to it. Keep that light out of there. Okay, we'll pause again and we'll show you our prize maple one which might be a fishing rod. Okay, excuse the mess. I know nobody minds the mess. This place is packed full of everything. It looks like a second hand store. See that? That goes all the way up there. And I, I measured it once last night. I did cut some off. I cut the bottom off. That's gonna be a handle for a mall, which I'll show you next, and then we'll get out of here. Just a short video today. What I'm doing since it's nice out. Tomorrow it's at 42 degrees in the shade. There you go, maple. If that dries pretty straight, I mean, it has a little bit, a few bends and twists to it. See that? But I think if I make it just right, or where the bend's just right, I think I'll make a pretty nice homemade fishing pole. That's pretty big, huh? Get the lightning blows. Okay, one more thing and then we're out of here. Hang in there. Okay, this is supposed to be silver maple. Now I have maple around here in the neighbor trees. They're gray and orange bark. Silver maple is just a silver. That's what the man told me. This is being cured probably. Oh, jeez, this had to be a year. This is heavy. That's a heavy hunk of wood. Three inches diameter. We don't know, it might be six inches. We're going to make a wooden 
mallet. And we're going to put the green handle in it. We'll have a wood wedge to where we can take it back apart. So when the handle dries out or whatever. But this is that little badger knife I showed. I got kind of upset because I was trying to sharpen on my sharpener and my stones are so wide. that I'm, I'm going to redo it because one side's wider than the other. So I'm going to take the blade out of the knife so I can actually work on it. But I showed this. Uh, not really saying it was really not worth the 20 bucks, but it is a nice tool. Uh, I've actually been taking, I don't know, I always say that word, the knots off with it and debarking with it. So just to play with it. I mean, I have better knives, but this you can get down in your hand and, and work the car with. So I've been taking the knot. You got to take your knots off first, then you can strip your bark. And like I said, the same way with branches. Say it was growing this way, try to chisel it off that way first. You go this way, it's tended going to want to try to rip the wood out. So, this is plain old maple. Uh, to me, it is. The kind that, when it gets older, it has orange and gray bark. I, I really believe it to be. I don't think it's silver maple, but it could be. Like I said it's hard to tell with this old looking piece of bark. We're not really sure what this is. I will ask him. Next time he brings me wood, uh, what this wood, I'll save a piece of this wood. And I will ask him, see if he remembers for sure what this is. Because he told me he just had silver maple and, and the other type of maple. So, enough yakking. I know these videos get kind of longer in the winter time when I do this. But, here's what this knife is. Not to, don't make any money showing it. It was giving me, a wife got it for me at the fair as a gift. So, uh, there you go. Thanks for watching. At the end, I'll include that clip when I was outside uh, chomping away on the wood where I could hold the camera better. So, thanks again for watching. Okay, we decided to try on camera to show how we do this. See that? See how easy that is? Get over here. I'm gonna have to turn it, of course, so we'll... There. Just so you get a little more view of how it works. I mean, it's really slick. I mean, you can strip a branch really quick. I mean, it's worth it what I pay for it. It's just what I want to make out of these branches. I don't have to take a knife and hack all day and uh, just get her done. So, uh, for one more time there saying it, I guess. Thanks for watching.